Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Readware Ad Exchange, a webinar on Masters of Yield. I am Jitin Chaudhary. I look after online partnerships at Readware Ad Exchange and will be taking you through some key takeaways. We'll go through strategies which will efficiently improve your AdSense revenue. We'll understand ActiveView and look at some recommendations to improve ActiveView and click through rate. We'll understand ad manager rules and look at opportunities to improve revenue there. We'll also understand exchange bidding dynamic allocation, which is also known as open bidding now. And we'll go through a, a platform called Readway Unity, which is Readway's own self unified auction platform. Let's begin with ad strategies on ad sets. AdSense has evolved over the years, and with the new latest version of AdSense, you might find few features which are really helpful for publishers to grow and optimize their revenue. The first feature that I want to talk about is auto-optimize. Auto-optimize is a feature which allows Google itself to run experiments on your ad formats and automatically apply any improvements for you. You will be notified of the results and can undo any changes done by Google to optimize your ads. The second feature or the product that I want to talk about is an async ad. Uh, you will find this feature available again in your AdSense account. Uh, someone who's using AdSense since long will find uh, old ad units being implemented on their site. Now, what they need to do is basically go to their AdSense account. If the best practices say that you need to update your ad units to async ads, you need to do that. Why? It basically makes your page load faster, which leads to higher visitors and lower bounce rate. Another feature that AdSense has is full width ads. Full width ads are specifically designed for mobile devices. What it does is it basically increases the width of an ad based on the screen size of the mobile. Uh, the impact, full width ads perform better than mo on mobile devices. They increase your revenue potential and they are better looking ads on mobile. Another feature that is available while creating an ad unit on AdSense is responsive ads. Now there is a difference between full width ad and a responsive ad. Full width ad is basically for mobile devices, whereas responsive ads are uh, ads which can be used both on mobile and desktop, and they respond based on the size of the screen. So for example, you have a sticky ad on left and right side of the uh, gutter space of your screen. Based on the user screen size, they will expand or decrease uh, there, hence leading to better viewability and an opportunity to increase your revenue. There's a question from Sonika Mishra. Where can we see the reports of auto ads? It's very simple. When you go to reports uh, on your AdSense account, there is a section called ad behavior. When you click on ad behavior, you can see the reports for auto ads. Okay. Few more inputs on AdSense that will help you optimize and grow your revenue. Ad units should be in hotspot where they can be seen easily by visitor. When I see, when I go to a page or a site, I see ads all over there. Uh, it leads to ad blindness. What we need to do is ensure that the ad is placed where users are concentrating on the content so that they can see the ad. Uh, the other option that I would like to uh, uh, highlight here is uh, turn low paying units into image only ads for improving CPM. You can drill down a report on ad units and see which ad units are performing lower as compared to higher ad units. And what you can do is in those ad units, you can improve the CPM by turning off text plus display option to just uh, taking on or putting it on display option. The third uh, important uh, thing that I would like to highlight here is change the color of your ads to match your website palette. 
I mean, there are ad units which you can create, uh, which are called infeed natives or in article native, and you, you have an option to choose color of the background. We recommend choosing a matching color to your website for creating, for building it like a native app. Another option is placing ads on top of the page is a good practice. Yes, for most of the content, because uh, the heading of the content is there on the top, an ad unit above or below the heading is a good practice because it has a lot of attention uh, from the user. Over and above some ads and practices, what I also recommend to our publishers whom we work with is write more niche content with more quality keywords in it. What it does is it improves your discovery on search engine and also leads to higher discover traffic. Uh, also another input that we have seen uh, with our publishers, how they've improved their overall AdSense earning is by adding more articles on a daily basis. Suppose you're writing 10 articles, if you increase it to 12 or 14, what it does is it creates more pool of content, which can again get into discovery and bring in more traffic. Hence, all these uh, practices help you grow your AdSense revenue. Okay, now that we have understood uh, or gone through some best practices on AdSense, let's understand what active view is and how it impacts the click-through rate. Okay, before we get into active view, let's understand a viewable impression. What is a viewable impression? A display ad is considered viewable when 50% of an ad pixel are in view. On the screen so what it says is it's if there is an ad and which can be seen 50 percent for a particular time span which is one second is considered as a viewable impression for videos it changes to two seconds an ad which is seen 50 percent minimum 50 percent and is seen for two seconds on video is considered as a viewable impression if you look at the eco publisher viewability is 50.2 so wherever the impression is seen the viewability is around 50.2 across the ecosystem uh, page does page position matter uh, in terms of improving your active view yes it does uh, if you look at this diagram it says there are three different uh, three similar positions but three different formats of ad right uh, all three are above the fold but the most viewable one is 300 by 250. Why? Because because of the size and the placement, 50% of the ad is appear is appearing on the first fold, whereas the balance 50% is below the fold. Hence, the viewability of that ad unit is much higher compared to 728 by 90 or 320 by 50, which are horizontal ad units. Okay, like I was discussing. Uh, in my previous uh, slide, how the size uh, matters in terms of viewability. Here are some examples which clearly define that vertical ad units have better view viewability as compared to horizontal ad units. Why? Because of the size, the vertical length of the page, sometimes these vertical ad units would be displayed over the first fold uh, before user reaches the second fold. Hence, the time spent on that ad viewing uh, is much higher, thus leading to better viewability. So the sizes which are recommended for better viewability are 120 by 240, 240 by 400, 160 by 600, and 120 by 600. <clears throat> is above the fold always viewable? The question. Well, not all above the fold impressions are viewable, while many below the fold impressions could be viewable. Why? Again, we go back to the content here. If the content on the page is below the fold and above the fold does not have much of viewability or the content where it can uh, attract users and get their time sp spent, uh, the below ad units where the content is will be much more viewable. Does viewability varies across industries? Yes, it does. Uh, if you look at this, uh, chart it varies across various industries in current scenario where everyone is at home uh, with COVID-19 being spread uh, the viewability on news uh, 
uh, publishers is really high people are uh, looking for that content and they're spending a lot of time reading articles hence the viewability on those articles and content is really high as compared to other uh, industry here is a demo if you see this demo you will see uh, on the top bar an ad turns green when it passes one second of time and 50 percent pixel is viewable and for the video ad it turns green when it's over two seconds there's a uh, question from kalka moody press it says horizontal or vertical ads which ad pays best uh, like uh, explained in my demo vertical ads have higher chances of being viewable hence the chances of getting better cpm on vertical ads is much higher as compared to horizontal ads okay few more inputs on active view improvement uh, improve your page speed on mobile and desktop this is very important uh, page speed is directly proportionate to the time spent by a user on your site uh, if your page speed is really low the user will you will have higher bounce rate hence people will not get an opportunity to come to your site stay on your site read content and look at the ad and hence it will not only uh, reduce the active view but also reduce the ctr which leads to uh, revenue improve bounce rate i've covered it in my first uh, point bounce rate is basically people bouncing off your site uh, uh, page speed is one of the key factors in improving bounce rate other than that the content placement ad placement all these elements are very important to ensure that the bounce rate is lower and there are people spending time on your site uh, improve quality of traffic now there, there there are various sources of traffic which are available to publishers there's social there's referral and there's organic but if you do a drill down in terms of reporting what kind of a traffic contributes what kind of a revenue you will see that uh, organic traffic uh, gives you more revenue as compared to referral and social so that's where we say you need to concentrate on niche content for good organic growth there's a question uh, uh from uh, nitish how do you balance achieving viewability from google ads manager and ias or third party trackers very good question uh, uh, ensure mobile site is user friendly uh, again when i say user friendly it's basically uh, understanding uh, the delivery of the content on mobile either your site is responsive or has a m dot version of the site which is basically mobile first hence leading to uh, more engagement on mobile improve your content quality with keyword insertions now when i say keyword insertions it's, it's basically niche keywords which are being searched which are trending trends.google is a great example to go and understand what kind of a content is trending hence it improves uh, the attention span of the user and the last is write more and more niche articles again like i said publishers who are writing more articles niche articles are uh, gaining from adsense and discovery now let's come back to the question which nitish asked before i get into the ad manager unified auction the question was how do you balance achieving viewability from google ads manager and is and other third party trackers now it's very important to understand uh, uh, the delivery uh, of viewability like i said uh, you can use google analytics to understand uh, uh, what are the hot spots of the content or the page and then based on hot spots which are basically where maximum clicks are happening on the page you can have your ad manager ad units being placed there and do a comparison in terms of ctrs which were before the placement there and uh, with the placement there that's one way of doing it also there are external tools which i can refer to you post uh, this session which you can use uh, for ad viewability measurement another question that we have uh, from kalka moody press is news magazines have many times types of content for regional news uh, to sports how can we set niche content on news magazines portal uh, again uh, 
news as a category is a very generic category you have to report uh, whatever is happening across the globe uh, and with uh, the accuracy which is there now for you for a news publisher it has to be some uh, uh, you know chief editors quote or some special uh, uh, specialized uh, organization or a person whom you are dealing with suppose on covid 19 you have a specialized doctor giving his quotes that's that that quote could be a niche content alongside the news article that you are publishing on the on the on the topic so these these kind of innovations or uh, uh, new uh, reporting ideas can create that niche uh, on the news content cool now now, now let's look at ad manager plus unified auction but before we go there let's understand the difference between waterfall and bidding now there must be a lot of publishers who who must be using waterfall as a mechanism or uh, have heard of it and let me explain the difference between waterfall and bidding now waterfall is an old technology when there was no bidding uh, happening in the advertising ad tech eco space what used to happen that time was you would have your own uh, adsense or an adx you would put a bid price there and then you would work with multiple networks who would come up and give you some uh, bit of their uh, inventory or uh, for uh, to be displayed you would put that uh, ad unit in your dsp and put a price to it now usually what happened used to happen before was if you are setting a price at 1.5 dollar if you look at the waterfall thing and uh the next inventory which is put as a pass back uh, on your dsp is at 2.2 dollars will get that uh, winning call to it uh, the third inventory which you have put will not be received although their bidding price is 3 dollars and the fourth one again is not called because of a pass back mechanism which does not actually do a real time uh, request bidding to understand what different partners are paying uh now let's move to uh, the new technology which is called bidding which is unified bidding uh, what it does is it uh, it basically on the real time uh compares all demand partners and the bids and whomsoever is paying best or uh, is maximum will take that winning bid and display the content uh, the ad how it happens now there are two mechanisms for bidding one is the second prize auction which used to be followed a uh, uh, couple of months back uh, and now what is followed is the first prize auction now let me explain you the difference between the second prize auction and the first prize auction now if you look at the image on the left which is in orange you will see there are three real time bidders bidder 1 bidder 2 and bidder 3 and their bids are 0.96 uh, real time bidder 2 is bidding at 1.5 dollars and real time bidder 3 is bidding at dollar 0.7 now uh, with real time auction what will happen is because real time bidder is bidding the most he will win that bid but he will have to pay 1 cent extra than the second highest bid which is at 0.96 so the real time bidder would pay 0.97 to win that impression now this technology was followed uh, was uh, adopted before but it has been upgraded to a first prize auction what happens in a first prize auction is there are three demand partners again bidding for that particular inventory now here in first prize auction what happens is if uh, the the hp3 which is uh, the real time bidder 3 will win the inventory but will have to pay the exact price that he has bidded for that inventory which is 0.092 rather than paying 0.81 cents which is 1 cent higher than the second prize auction so the first prize auction is really good for the publisher what it does is it allows various competition to happen at a real time and the highest bidder gets the inventory at that particular moment now how it happens it happens through unified first prize auction in google account manager the highest bidder wins the auction and pays the exact price of the bid where do unified pricing rules apply these apply on open auction via authorized buyer these also apply on private auction there is first look auction that uh, uh, qualifies for unified auction third party exchanges in exchange bidding will uh, qualify for these unified auction and remnant line items like price priority network and bulk 
are there. This is uh, <clears throat> this is what happens on unified auction. Now let's look at some ADEX rules that you might be uh, using right now. ADEX, like AdSense, has also evolved with time. With ADEX, there are multiple new rules which are set. We will discuss that in the coming slide. Now, ADEX allows you to set various rules at various levels. There are platform level rules for display on mobile app or video in terms of inventory type. Then there are flow prices which you can set for advertiser, brand, and buyer. And then there are unified pricing rules such as multi size pricing for placements that can accommodate different creative styles. Now, this is something new that uh, I recommend all our publishers to do. It's basically competing at this for the same slot. Now, what you can do based on the size of an ad, you can create rules uh, uh, and prices uh, for various sizes uh, on the ADEX. Plus, there are other two uh, uh, choices that you have in ADEX, which is basically based on geography, device category, operating system, and so on. Now, another important best practice that I recommend is choosing set target CPM over set floor price now the difference between set floor price and set target cpm is basically set target cpm takes an average and ensures whatever cpm you put uh, matches that whereas as compared to target cpm uh, can earn you more revenue over time by adjusting the floor prices to match your bid as compared to floor price is an individual bid request that can be either higher or lower than the target cpm now, it is very important to ensure that you select set target CPM over set floor prices. The more, uh, ru more rules make, more, uh, make decision more complicated. Hence, fewer the rules, the faster the selection of rules and ad exchange. Uh, give the most granular rule top priority to ensure that they are reviewed. First, differentiate your rules by device, mobile, desktop, and geographical location. Now that we have understood, uh, we have gone through uh, unified auction, and we've also understood difference between uh, bidding and waterfall. Let's look at exchange bidding, dynamic allocation, or open bidding. Let's understand dynamic allocation, what it is, and then we'll talk about exchange bidding or open bidding. Now, dynamic allocation is a process where Every impression is optimized for the best yield. Now, what Ad Manager does is Ad Manager helps you earn the highest price for every ad impression. Uh, if there are multiple line items running in your Ad Manager, Ad Manager will automatically check the CPM price uh, for various line items. And based on the bidding price or the CPM price, it will deliver uh, the most highest yield uh, making uh, line item as a creative. The feature empowers ad exchange and AdSense to compete with other ad manager line items without compromising the performance of guaranteed line item delivery. So in case you have a guaranteed ad from a direct advertiser, it will not compete with that, but uh, impressions which are not guaranteed, it will make sure there is a competition and the best performing ad unit is being displayed. Now, what is the process? Now, if you look at this diagram, uh, if you look at number one, which is the ad manager, when the request is sent to an ad manager, there is a section called 2A in the image, which is basically checking multiple line items. So internally, it will check multiple line items if you have any uh, in terms of CPM that they have put. And then it will move to section 2B, which is basically checking with other demand partners. Now, how does exchange bidding work? Is basically it calls in other demand partners uh, which compete with Google Ad Exchange like Rubicon, Mato, Pubmatic, Index Exchange, and so on. And the 2B section is basically uh, checking with other demand partners for the highest bid. Once there is a highest bid, the section 2C is being delivered to the ad manager. Again, it's a unified ad manager auction, uh, which is 2D, and the ad is being displayed with step 3 on the HTML on the page. EBDA is 
built for publishers how publishers benefit from it they get increased global competition and demand for your inventory independently approve and onboard your demand partners you can directly reach a demand partner and demand partners it reduces the latency and the complexity of for the partners tags in the page it also reduces complexity in your ad servers there are not multiple line items being created with ebda uh, it's a very simplified auction process uh, reporting and billing for publishers and with google uh, backing it uh, the payments made to you through ebda or open bidding is through google uh, within the time frame which adx is paid now that we have gone through ebda uh, we have understood the uh, open bidding let's talk about a platform that readware has built which uh, helps publisher not only just uh, compete uh, real time demand partners for the inventory space but also brings in multiple uh, setups uh, to create three different layers of demand uh, auction now let me explain to you how readware unity the platform that i'm talking about works if you look at this diagram uh you will see the center image uh, this image uh, as uh, as an ad manager which has four line items running now the first line item which is a priority line item price priority line item is basically calling amazon unified auction uh, marketing marketplace for various bidders which amazon has alongside amazon as a demand they submit a winning bid that winning bid is then compared with the winning bid submitted by pre bid script which is again working with five different new demand partners that winning bid is again uh, submitted into the ad manager and is compared with the third section which is the ebda section where demand partners are bidding in the dynamic allocation space out of these three different layers of auction happening for that particular single inventory you will see you will see uh, the best winning bid from these three different uh, auctions happening uh, get the advertising space and in case there is a guaranteed deal uh, these winning bids if they are not higher than the guaranteed deal will not be displayed and if it's a sponsorship line item uh, the sponsorship uh, will get more priority over the winning bids now there is a question from vivek uh, he is asking what are key parameters on which rule should be set so like uh, stated in my previous slide vivek the three parameters basic parameters that you should set your rules on is basically platform ad size and geography so platform means desktop mobile ad size is basically 336 280 vertical ad units horizontal ad units and geography the traffic where uh, the traffic is coming from whether it's us uk canada you can keep higher bids there and uh, whether it's india or southeast asia the bids uh, the price can be the so floor prices can be low right okay so this is what readware unity platform does lift in the ecpm with unified auction what we have noticed uh, by running this on our publisher sites is an average 37% uplift uh, in terms of ecpm uh, how it performs we see a contribution uh, which is around 62% in terms of revenue from google uh, then ebda contributes around 18% and then there is a pre bid partner contributing around 20% in terms of total revenue uh, it, it uh, the whole revenue for a publisher is not just dependent on google it basically brings in more demand and creates a better competition which brings in more yield uh, our three uh, partners or three setups that we use is amazon uam prebid and ebda uh, the benefits of this platform is it's transparent tech agnostic it's lean and fast it has time management uh, time out management which is basically not more than 200 seconds milliseconds is what we are giving for this real time bid to happen there is constant health check auto health check which basically checks if there are tags broken uh, repairs them there is tag regeneration there is unified bidding uh, and a very simple reporting dashboard 
what we bring to the table if you look at the video on the left uh, if you look at this it's basically a very uh, soothing experience in terms of displaying an ad if you look at the top uh, the ad appears only when the user scrolls uh, the site so i'll replay it so when he when he lands on the page the ad is in there but when he starts reading the content that's when we show the ad uh, so it's called uh, ai ml ad which dynamic ads which basically appear when there is a user action uh, this ad also refreshes and in case it's an infinite scroll they will be lazy loading on it uh, uh, it's op optimized for size uh, there's auto supply of side uh, supply side platform tags generation basically demand partners are configured on the fly uh, instant size modification from the back end so just in case you want to change the size it can happen from the back end or automatic and there is unified reporting for all demand partners the platform is very simple it's an open source technology run unbiased unified auction tools to manage and optimize partners inventory and auction there are various tools which help you optimize which demand partner do you want to use uh, uh, whether it's rubicon index exchange open exchange and so on uh, there's complete control in terms of safety and transparency uh, in terms of winning bid in terms of ad request and so on here are some demand partners that we work with uh, on the unified platform google ad generation adsense ads of columbia smarto index rhythm one and so on what's next uh, we, we work with more than 700 publishers in india and abroad and what we help them do is grow and optimize their uh, revenue uh, we help them create more engagement with that engagement we help them earn more revenue uh, some of the products and services that we offer is basically we help you also build a brand safe audience network we activate uh, three layers of unified auction on your site which is basically competing with 10 to 15 demand partners for that particular ad slot we help uh, in creating mobile first mobile friendly assets uh, building uh, pwas and amps we help you build native apps for higher attention and active view uh, we activate uh, ebda open bidding on your site and we also help you monitor and scale constantly in terms of uh, how your revenue and your engagement is performing like i said uh, readware adds value at every stage now let us understand three stages of various publishers which are uh, there in the market uh, if if i have to break uh, all the publishers into three different stages uh, the first stage would be a publisher who is currently using adsense and adx now the opportunity of working with us is uh, there is there is a room for 10 to 30% revenue growth uh, by optimizing your adsense account or optimizing your adx account based on rules and take it to the next level uh, so the next that i have uh, one from surbi uh, can you please let me know how effective is unified auction uh, uh, like stated before on my slide uh, we have seen results close to 37% uplift in terms of it creates uh, uh, other demand partners and creates um, maximum bids for that inventory which leads in uh, better ecpms uh, the second question that i have uh, from kalka mudi press is can we add multiple demand partners in a single site with google ads yes uh, the tool readware unity allows you to add multiple demand partners with google to compete under dynamic allocation to give the best result so it allows that uh, the third question that i have from neha is uh, this sounds good can you tell how can readware ad exchange integrate with our site great so i'll park this aside neha i'll tell uh, i'll answer this question at the end of the presentation how you can work with readware ad exchange to help and grow your revenue uh, so we were discussing stage two. Stage two is when the person or the publisher has gone past stage one, which is optimizing their AdSense or AdX revenue by 10 to 30 percent. Now, stage two is where we need to add and optimize new demand for revenue generation. When I say new demand, it's basically adding more demand 
for your site. So currently, if you're working with Google, you need to add more demand partners to compete with Google to take that inventory. So that's where we bring in the Readway Unity platform, which is basically a header and exchange bidding ad. Uh, we also uh, are uh, Tabula partners, so we bring in content recommendation ads and also bring in direct and programmatic ads through uh, direct agencies and brands which are available in India. So that's stage two where we bring uh, bring in the platform, the demand, and we help publishers achieve more than what they are doing on stage one. Now, what is stage three? Stage three is 10x growth. That's the vision that every publisher has. Now, how does it happen? You can optimize your ads to a, uh, to a level where you can reach uh, 10 to 50 percent uplift on the ads. But to grow over that, you need to reach stage three. And in stage three, what you do, you concentrate on content and delivery of content, which is basically the channel through which the content is being delivered, which are your sites. You look at page speed improvements. You look at enhancing your SEO. You look at Google News listing for discover traffic. Uh, you look at relevant niche content creation, which attracts discovery and audience. And you also follow best practices for mobile distributions, which is which are basically creating a progressive web app which loads instantly, having accelerated mobile pages, ensuring that all these PWAs and AMPs have ad, best ad practice practices uh, on their site. <clears throat> so that's the value chain. Uh, we work with publishers on all three uh, value chains. Uh, who we are. Uh, we fill the resource and knowledge gap often faced by digital publishers like you to maximize ad revenue with minimal effort. We are the only unified ad exchange which brings in three layers of competition. Uh, we are mobile first technology uh, certified by Google to develop progressive web apps and accelerated mobile pages for news media and entertainment publishers in India. Uh, we are the biggest Google partners uh, in India. Right, so Neha, back to your question, uh, how we can work with Readware Ad Exchange. Uh, uh, it's very simple. Uh, what you need to do is you, you just need to write me an email. Uh, we'll go through your site. We'll have a, a discussion on your site. We'll audit your site, give you a, a feedback on the opportunities that we see on your site, suggest a way forward and partner you in terms of growing and optimizing your revenue. So my email address and my telephone number is... Uh, uh, written here. Uh, you can write to me with your questions and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to hear from you. Thank you. The question from Prakash is, what is the sign-up process? How faster can the ads be implemented in my site? Uh, the sign-up process is very simple. You reach out to us. We sign up. Uh, we send you an uh, approval form. You fill that form. Once the form is approved from our demand partners, we send you the code and the ads.txt, which you need to update. And within 24 hours, uh, the ad starts displaying. I am uh, Kalkamudi Press uh, has a question. Hi, I'm Shivi from Kalkamudi. Is there any initial payments to add RWADX? Uh, if uh, there are no initial payments to add RWADX uh, or uh, any of the platform uh, which uh, creates unified auction, so you can just reach out to us and we, there are no payments uh, that you have to pay. Uh, 